Welcome to this video tutorial on how to use the Shoreline Change Mouth Gen.K8 version 1. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to prepare your Gen.K8 workspace and get started in your Gen.K8 project. When you first launch the SMS you'll be presented with a blank project. You can go ahead and save this project using the Save As button in the File menu. It is recommended that you save every project or every simulation into a different folder to keep it all the file related to this simulation together. If you look in the folder you just created, you'll see a .sms file. This is the file you want to open when you want to keep working on your project. The SMS will come pre-installed with a Genkit executable. Look into your SMS folder, most likely located into the Program File folder. You see a model slash Genkate folder, and the executable will be placed there. The name of the executable file will reflect the version number, here v1r3 for version 1 release 3. From time to time the Genkate team will post a new release for the Genkate executable. It's a good idea before you start work working on your project that you download the latest version of Genkate. It will be available from the SERP website under the product tab. Save it on your drive, and I like to save mine in the SMS Genk Mao folder to keep it all together in one place. Next, go under the Edit menu, select Preferences, and then the File Location tab. Look for the Genk Mao and browse the path of the executable you wish to use. That way, SMS will use the correct one. At this point, the next thing I'd like to do is to set up the global projection I want the project to be displayed in. So go under the display menu and select global projection. Then set the projection and look for the one that you would like to use by scrolling down. At this point, you will also enter if you'd like to work in metric or US survey feet in the planner unit. Make sure the horizontal and vertical projection are consistent, and then click OK. This action will determine the projection you want the data to be displayed in, for example UTM, but you can still enter data in any other projection, like geographic. Up to this point, the SMS menu and tool displayed were the one that apply to any model built in into the SMS package. To activate the menu and tool specific to Genkade, you'll need to define the coverage as Genkades. Right-click on the default coverage and select Genkade from the drop-down menu. You'll see that this action activates the Genkade specific dynamic tools in the map module. Before starting my project, the first thing I'd like to do is to load in a georeference imagery. As with any data that we will import with SMS, the imagery projection does not have to be the same as the one you set in the display projection. You can drag and drop the image into the workspace and the file of the name will appear here under the data tree under images. Right click on the file name and go under projection to define or verify that the image projection is correct. And now don't forget to save your project. You can also use the Save Setting function to save the projection and the executable location so that the next time you create a project it will have the same setup by default. Now you're ready to start your project. For more information, links to publication and the GenKid wiki page, visit the SERP website. Learn how to import your initial shoreline by watching the next video tutorial. Thank you for watching.